This cave serves as a boundary between our world and that of the Gi. It was vital to them and their plans. Were the Gi to seize control of it, the canyon would be doomed. And the people. When the Gi moved against us yet again, a certain Watcher recalled this vulnerability. Huh? Since time was of the essence, he entered the cave without reinforcements. As he had feared, he was teeming with Gi, ready to descend upon the village. Determined to protect the Vale, he pounced from one foe to the next, felling all who dared oppose him. Hold on. If there was a Watcher who single-handedly saved the canyon, how come I've never heard of them? <laughs> For now, you should focus on your own strategy. Their malice grows more potent.
resourceful you've become.
stay the course. Those altars. <laughs> there is a similarity, yes. But this sanctum is much more ancient and serves a rather different purpose. The altars we came upon before were built to imprison the key. This, however, was built to provide the Cetra with a means to commune with them. Commune with them? Why would the Citra do that? The Gi were the enemy. Good and he through friend and foe. Dichotomy is not set in stone, as mutable as the winds. But for now, Nanaki, let us concentrate on the matter at hand, clearing a path to the truth. Make you grow up! Like 
show me many. Where's a big bucket of water when you need it? Pop in! become quite the formidable fighter. <laughs> sure have. So, does this mean I passed the test? <laughs> I'm afraid that decision is not mine alone to make. <sighs> Let us consult with one more qualified. The Watcher of the Vale fought valiantly, and offered up his life in defense of our home. As you see, he still watches over us to this very day. Wait, is that... Seto? My father? No, there's no way. 
The poisoned arrows of the Gi transformed his body into stone. And there he has stood ever since, his watch eternal. Our savior. What about my mom? Did she know what had happened to him? Oh. oh, oh. Why, of course she did. It was, after all, she and Seto who asked me to seal off the cave. But why? Why did she never tell me the truth? Because she knew that if she did, you would attempt to seek your father out all by yourself. Your parents strove to keep our veil safe. But there is one thing they fought even harder to protect. You, Nanaki, their son. She was afraid, because I was too small and weak. <laughs> Back then, perhaps, but not anymore, heavens no. You've become a fine warrior in your own right. And that is precisely why I brought you here. <laughs> but this is not where your journey is meant to end, my dear boy. You must leave the Vale once more. But I'm a Watcher now. I gotta protect our home like he did. Listen to me, Mama Ki. When I first heard your friend's emphatic warnings, I dismissed them outright. No more than the ravings of misguided youths. When you've lived as long as I have, you start to believe you've seen it all. But no surprises remain. But I realize now how very foolish I have been. The eyes that I thought saw the world clearly have grown blind to new possibilities. But... I would hate to impede your progress any further. I bid you leave, Nanaki. Before, like me, you become inured to your own ignorance. With sharper eyes and keener ears, go forth and in my stead seek the great truths of our world. Look after him for me. Don't worry. We will. You failed this trial, my boy. Continue your training and try again. Are you up to the task, Nanaki? You bet I am. After all... I am Nanaki, watcher of Cosmo Canyon, and son of Seto, protector of our Vale. to me. My name is Guy Natak. O oh, brave and noble Seto, I beseech you once more, hear the urgent pleas of my people. My thanks, Seto. You are as magnanimous as ever. The warrior Nanaki. And you, the Setra. Come with me. That 
was. Oh, an exciting turn of events indeed. We'll back you up for two thousand. Well, No. This one's free. Ugh. Can anyone explain to me why we're even taking this detour? Anyone? Because some of us are on a mission to secure the material we need to, you know, save our homeland. How can you talk like that in a place like this? I'm scared of my wits here. I don't know. This gee dude's too nice to freak me out. He may act nice, but who knows what he's planning. Stay alert. The Gi lies beyond. Now let us begin our journey. Not so fast. What's in it for us? Unless it's Materia, you can count me out. How strange you should mention Materia. My people are also in search of it. <laughs> okay, all aboard! longer if I could, but I'll be back soon. I promise. Try swaying with the rocking of the boat? I wanna move less, not more. <laughs> Didn't seem to mind when you jumped aboard. Well, only because he mentioned materia. Be quiet. The planet is listening. And what's wrong with that? Anything that reaches the planet's ears in due time reaches those of the Cetra. Unfortunately, the Cetra are not a tolerant people. Excuse me, am I intolerant too? I'm Cetra. <laughs> you are indeed one of them, by lineage alone. You know not of their history. That has been lost to time. Their... history? Consider your ignorance a blessing. The Cetra's past is fraught with horror and sorrow. 